one of the main tools that you'll want to use or get used to using um, is going to be uh, the the Replit tool. What you'll want to do is you want to sign up for it. Um, you have a couple options. Um, you have you're able to do Google, GitHub, and Facebook. Um, anytime it's coding related and you have a GitHub account, you should use it. You should use your GitHub. But if not, just put in your username, your my BVC account, and sign up with a password. So I already have an account, so I'm going to click login, and we'll just go to the next step. Okay. So here we are. So depending on which class you're in, um, if you're in my marketing classes and or my Tech 1101 class, then you want to click this. Okay. So this one here, let me just open it in a new tab. Okay. So you're going to cover. Let me just. Oh. And the reason why you want to use Replit is because when you make code changes, if you're not using JavaScript, you can delete that. It automatically links <coughs> pardon me, to the style sheet, if you notice here. Okay, you can again also delete this file if you don't need it. And those are your choices depending on what your needs are. So now you won't see anything here, so if I go H1, H1, hello world, and I close that tag. So now you look here, refresh, 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 nothing's happening. Because the thing with um, Repl is you need to run the server first. There we go, so now it's running. So now if I go, nothing will happen. But if I refresh the browser, there it'll happen. So you were, first thing you want to do is always run the run button. Now. If this is a group project, you want to do invite. Get that, and this will be your permanent spot. One thing you can do, uh, I'll get back to action in a second, just to, probably a good idea to rename it. Probably best thing to do is group name dash class or class dash group name. Okay? Because nobody has the same group name, and that's, that's handy. Uh, and then from that point on, you just all work through this same one. So let me go back to the invite real quick. So you take that, you copy and paste it, and you send it by email, whatever you want. <coughs> Pardon me. It's hard to quickly press pause, so. Um, so yeah, what you'll find is you'll see a bunch of people when they join you'll see that they have different color cursors. This is common. You'll see this in uh, docs.google.com. Oops. Yeah, so let's see here. Actually, docs. So it'll look like this. You see how you have different colors? That'll be what this looks like right here. So you'll be able to see other people moving around. We tried using Code Sandbox, um, which you're more familiar with. Almost everybody has seen me using it. The problem was that when, um, when we were collaborating in here, when we were testing it, what would happen is, is that if, uh, if anybody started um, writing, let's say they went uh, P like this and started going like that, what would happen is all the other cursors, no matter where you were, what you were doing, they would all get centered around this immediately. So whatever you were doing independently, it would get pulled back into this one spot when you were using the live share. So I don't know when this started happening because I used it in class for a few classes and we never had that problem, but it's currently a problem. Um, you're welcome to try to use this tool. Um, for collaboration, but if you find that that's a problem for you, where you're getting two, three, four like this, when and everybody's got like this, their cursor right here, then that's that's why I'm recommending Replit. Okay, so going back to Replit. <coughs> pardon me. One of the bugs that you'll notice in Replit is that, uh, let's say you're working in a team and. And uh, you're working with me, and I say, oh, "Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start an images folder, right?" And I go there and I uh, 
CreateBob.jpg. Obviously, you'd have to upload a JPEG because just naming the file like that does not do anything. But the point is, is that uh, what I want to show you is that you, I see this because I created it. But what will happen as part of your uh, team, they won't actually see this uh, folder created and they won't see this created. What they'll need to do is actually refresh this. So what ha what I think you should do when you're collaborating is you you tell your teammates uh, there's a chat that will pop up right here when they join you. You say I'm gonna create the images folder. Um, you know um, you won't be able to see it. I'll start uploading images. Please don't uh, try to create one. Um, just give me you know ten minutes and and then you create it and you get a ton of it done and then. Right. Uh, then what you do is you tell them, oh, you know, please refresh like this. <coughs> and what will happen is they will then see this in the left-hand side here. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having a bit of a coughing attack. So this is the only solution that I've seen for this, um, unfortunately. So... Just remember, always link your files. So if this was your image structure and the bob was there, you'd have, uh, what do we got here? Uh, IMG. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Pardon me. stuff and then like that okay uh, and so make sure you're always linking to your stuff correctly like you would normally say with the style sheet um, if you have the scripts <coughs> that's um, source script JS, script JS. okay Okay, now I'm going to show you one last uh, item, and that is the Visual Studio Code that you all have. So it's important to recognize um, that uh, Visual Studio Code does all of these things. So I'm going to do another video showing that, okay?